As soon as I heard about the march, I said, I have to go. The extent of the devastation is indescribable. Every five seconds, a bombed out school, apartment building, government building. They feel like, how could this be happening? And nobody in the world is stepping forward. thought that I was a well-read person and that I knew what was going on there and I really had no idea. One father who lost two of his daughters and the third was paralyzed. The army called them out and you know he, he had described the situation where these two soldiers were just sitting there eating chips and chocolate and then without any kind of warning the third just popped up out of a tank and, and shot at his daughters. I had never heard anything like that. The first delegation I took was from the National Lawyers Guild in 1977. And we interviewed many people during that trip, many of whom had been prisoners who had been tortured. And that trip kind of uh, crystallized for me in my own mind how serious the situation was and how important it was to struggle for justice for the Palestinian people. My parents are Palestinian from Gaza, and I got involved um, in the summer of 2006 when Israel launched its assault on Gaza and uh, Lebanon. That was the time that I said, I need to continue with this movement. I was born in Cairo, Egypt, and uh, in 1967, I was a very little child, and uh, I saw what, what war is. and. Uh, in 1973, I was a teenager and I saw the war between Egypt and Israel as well. I think any human being should be involved and uh, should do whatever they can to, to stop this. We went to a village whose land has been taken by the um, separation war. And one man there, he said, thank you for coming to Palestine and sharing our suffering. You're here, he said. And the Israelis don't want you here. They don't want international people seeing this. They don't want people seeing that we're human beings resisting. We're resisting peacefully. I have to say that they were at a, a very definite downslide in morale from March to September. But now with this Gaza Freedom March, they are, they are heartened. This march is a historic march. It's like the march in Selma, Alabama. This is in the tradition of Mahatma Gandhi. It's in the tradition of Martin Luther King. And it's in the best tradition of the whole movement of nonviolence and raising people's voices for human rights. Be part of history. Join. This is the time. It really entirely depends on humanity to get involved.